this is what I got from the Melbourne card show this week. Starting off with the lottery ticket, Scotty Barnes. Um, got this five dollar. There's just a five dollar graded card. Can't go wrong with that. Lucky. Um, there's a also there was a YouTuber there called Matt's Card Shop. Scan that if you want to go to his YouTube channel. I guess. Um, yeah, he was handing out these packs to kids, and he gave me one. Um, so I'm just gonna set aside. We have a mystery pack. It said there was AFL and Pokemon in here. Probably as well, so. Okay. Starting off, we have a Trey Griffey, Goodwin Champions. Ooh, George Washington. <laughs> I don't know, I kind of like these Goodwin champions there. Oh, cool. I don't know who this is. Al Franken. And a gorilla. Okay. Okay, it's a football. AFL. Chad Wingard. Brian Burton. Tyson Stengel. Dan Butler. Ben Brown oh. and Jeremy Howe. Bad injury from Jeremy Howe. I was at the game. Saw that happen. Right happened right in front of me. He like landed on his arm. It was disgusting. And then well, I guess there's some baseball. Skip very much to this. Pokemon, I guess. What am I gonna guess? It is Pokemon. Let's see that. Oh my god, Mariana. Yes, reverses, Drampa. Hollows. Lucario Hollow. Okay, that's nice. And then, next thing we've got. Only two more things left. Got this Demand of Rosen card out of a five dollar box, and what? Well, I was pretty surprised. It. Oh my god! Focus. It's not focusing, but it's a game worn patch. And because it's numbered out of fifteen, there's not really any sold. There's only one listing. For forty dollars, I goes for five, so that's pretty good. And then it's Kobe Bryant rookie rewind. PSA seven. I know, look cool. I know if I, I pay the fair price for the probably more for the PC. So. All right, now for the big thing I got, which. I was, so I was at the store and I they had like, like a shell and had some memory and stuff. And they had a Kenneth Golliday signed helmet only for $100. And there's like listings online for about $400. And I was talking to the guy and he had $20 cash on me and they didn't seem like they were really going to do trades. Or sell. Um, so he said he'd go down to 80 and that was his lowest. Anyway, I went for a lucky round and came back and seemed like I was just trying to get rid of it because he offered me then 50. Still said I didn't have enough cash. So then um, I said, Are you sure you have enough look at my card? So he had a look where he got just some like small Pokemon graded cards out and then $10 on top. Plus a thing of like a Yana's green box champion, the championship of the prison. Um, anyway, the guy, he, he saw a replica and I think that's mostly why he had it so cheap because he said it was a replica, but it, so I just went along with it, but 
it seems like it actually is um authentic because um I saw he put out a fanatics bag for it so I thought gee it must be authentic okay, about fanatics and then well, I was having a proper look around and I actually had the fanatics thing on the black sticker thing on the back. Anyway, after I went out to the car and went onto the uh, like this website to see if it's authenticated and sure enough it popped up and said Kenneth Dolliday signed helmet and I don't know, got it for a good deal. Probably won't sell it, probably just paid it for myself. But anyway, this is what it looks like. So oh that just came came in this fanatic bag. Signed Kenneth Walker and it's a camo which I think they look so nice. Kenneth or Kenny by the day. And then there's the authentication. And I just wish I could wear it, but it looks like you can wear it from the outside of course I have like that thing. It just prevents you from wearing it, but it, anyway. It's only what well, it ended up being for like seventy dollars trade value. That that was a pretty good deal. Anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and see you next time. Peace.